So what I have today is actually the BTEC FRS B1. And uh, you might have seen on social media and Facebook, there was quite a few of these uh, ads out where it was sponsored. Uh, but this is basically a product of Bale thing. Um, and I reached out and contacted uh, one of the distributors in the uh, US and uh, told them kind of what we do and we we evaluate radios all the time for church security teams and different things like that and uh, we also um, we also actually uh, refurbish them so we'll get radios in sometimes and clean them up and send them to uh, churches and whatnot that maybe need them but don't have the resources or the finances to purchase them. So anyhow, um, BTEC or Baofeng sent this to me and it was a brand new, uh, it's a brand new set. This is the first time I've opened the box and um, they asked me to kind of do a review on it. So uh, we have the uh, FRS B1 operating manual. Uh, you have the charging base um, and it has a plug that um, that's just a that's actually just a filler but it has a USB-C plug which is kind of cool uh, more and more radios are coming out with those you have two of the uh, belt clips in here and that's just one so they come without the radios on them or sorry without the batteries on them and the battery just pops in there and it's a uh, 1500 mAh battery so it's pretty decent and the battery just pops in like that so my overall first impressions I, I'm actually um, kind of impressed it feels it feels pretty solid um, feels like a high high quality uh, composite plastic um, so when I mean high quality I feel like I could probably drop it and it wouldn't break um, I wouldn't you know I wouldn't go crazy on it um, but pretty short antenna and I'm gonna test it outside here at my church uh, on my church property in a little bit um, but pretty standard not thrills no extra thrills radio um, in the the bale thing um, uhf uh, lineup but you have uh, basically one uh, one button on the top to turn it on VTech power on channel one so it's kind of kind of loud and annoying. I would imagine if you use Chirp and you're reprogramming it, you could probably uh, shut that off. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think they sent me a, a program cable, so I probably won't mess with that on these, but um, it has 22 channels and the push to talk button is on the, the side and then also the channel button is on the side. Channel 22. Channel 1. So it seems pretty clear and um, there isn't a belt clip, which is kind of odd that attaches directly to the back. Um, it actually goes in to uh, a larger, um, larger belt holder unit. So, but that's okay. I mean, that's, so basically if you have this, on your belt and I've noticed a lot of companies are doing this now um, if you have this mounted on your on your belt then you would actually just pull this out and talk on it versus pull the, the whole radio off so on the one side you've got let me hold it up here push to talk and then the two channels the other side you've got your um, earpiece plug-in and then the USB-C uh, charge port. So if you want to charge it or uh, if you want to um, reprogram it, you can plug it in there. And then the other thing, um, other button on it is the uh, 
this orange button and what that does is it actually turns on the flashlight on the top so you get a flashlight and then you get kind of a strobe and then it turns off so it's it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward like i said no um no crazy frills or anything like that it does have the um the regular security codes and everything else like that when you start programming it that you can you can mess with to make sure that nobody um you know nobody can hear your conversation so this just pops in here to charge and it's pretty simple um you've got a couple of, of lanyards orange lanyards and that loops through the back there and then you've got a, a two USB-C uh, charge cables. And then they also, in the box, they also um, give you a USB-AC uh, DC adapter. So uh, you can plug that in and charge. And then these are um, the actual belt clip, I guess. So if you decided that you wanted to put that on in here. So instead of having the actual um, holder, you could put this on like that. I think I like the holder better, actually. It seems to me like this, like this would be more solid, although, you know, looking at it, I don't know how much Doesn't look like it's got a whole lot of spring to the the clip. So, I mean, if you're really rough with it, if you were like on a construction, I would imagine a construction site or something like that, then it's probably gonna be less than sturdy. I mean, in a church type setting, I could see that, although I've had folks um, be pretty intense with, with the radios. So, um, I'll turn this one on too. So e tech power on. That's Channel really one. loud and really, really irritating. All right, so, um, and then the other, the other piece is you have an over the ear, um, ear piece, and this looks like a, a pretty standard. I mean, it's nice for the price point. Um, it's nice that they give you that sort of thing. Um, as you know, that's probably, these are probably seven or eight dollars on Amazon. And uh, the with the radios and everything else, it's, it's a nice added touch. So let me try this here. Radio check, radio check. Radio check. So you can hear, I mean, it's really clear. Um, and of course they're right next to each other, but there's not a lot of feedback or popping or any crazy sounds, which tells me for the, the price point and for the sake of uh, the radio, it's not a bad radio. It's not a bad microphone. Um, test, 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 test. I mean, the, the microphone seems pretty crisp and clear compared to some. I, I did a test of another company um, about a week or two ago and even this close and I'm about two feet away from it uh, if that even this close there were uh, like ridiculous crack cracking and popping and it was just kind of kind of crazy but anyhow so that's um, really the the gist of that uh, again they're they're pretty uh, they're pretty simple radios, and they just came out, the FRS B1 B-Tech, and um, I'm going to take them out here shortly over a distance and do uh, do a, a line of sight distance check. So, um, and we'll wrap up the, the review doing that. All right, so I'm outside of my church campus, and you can see the church campus, and I've got my radio and uh, I'll do a quick test, but the other individual that has the radio is actually on the far side of that building. Um, 
So I'm not sure the exact distance. I mean, I'd say probably a half a mile, maybe. Hey, can you still hear me? 10-4. So you can see it's crystal clear he's that far away. Um, so I would definitely say uh, line of sight, but also uh, just through some, some solid construction materials, it's a, it's a pretty decent level unit. So in the end, the uh, BTEC FRS B1, I definitely think that it is a solid radio. Uh, it really impressed me with the clarity and the distance. Um, I haven't, I can't account or say anything to the ease of programming. Um, it's a very simple, basic radio. There's not, I've said it before, but there's not a lot of bells and whistles or, or frills. Um, so uh, would I recommend it? If you had a light or medium uh, duty application, um, you know, it would be a great, uh, a great, uh, step up. It's not a toy, um, and it handles itself well as not a toy, which is, you know, is a, is a good thing. Um, but I just, I think about it like something like construction, probably if it was light construction, maybe, uh, it would be durable. I'd be concerned about that back clip, uh, giving you issues, but realistically the, um, light duty use, you know, around a church, around a fair, um, light commercial, um, I think it would be exceptional and I, I am very impressed with it. Um, I've used B Baofeng radios for probably about 10 to 12 years and I can tell you that, um, honestly, uh, the radios that are coming out today are not the same uh, quality and caliber that they were before. They're coming out much better, um, much, much better uh, transmission, much cl better clarity um, and easier to use and just, just more powerful. So is it worth it? I would say yes for the price point. Um, again, light to medium use um, where you're not, you know, using them aggressively. Um, or or beating on them or that sort of thing. I mean, I I think the radios themselves would would handle handle that pretty well. Um, handle that beating. It it feels pretty robust. Uh, I did actually show it to a couple other people um, that I do stuff do security and stuff with at my church, and they really liked it. They liked the compactness, the style, and the clarity. That really impressed them. That. Um, the clarity of communicating was um, pretty close. It was, I'm not going to say it was the same. It was pretty close to being competitive with RCA and Motorola and Kenwood, um, which is a big thing for me to say. But at the end of the day, I, th I do think that, uh, you know, for, for me, the building that I tested them in, the church building, uh, we've always had a hard time with walkie-talkies and radios, even uh, UHF radios like this in analog because of what the building is made out of. Um, it's just a almost 60-year-old building and it, there's a lot of space. It's a big campus and you know when we tested them uh, they proved to be robust and I would definitely consider purchasing them uh, and using them for my security team or uh, recommending them for a church uh, to use, which would be light or uh, medium commercial, essentially. So definitely, uh, definitely worth the the money and uh, and the investment if you're looking for something a little bit better and uh, a solid a solid quality. So uh, appreciate Bail Fang uh, for sending them to me and allowing me to test them out and get the review out there. Uh, and uh, as always, you can visit our website at churchsafetyguys.com uh, for all your church safety and security resources and needs. And uh, feel free to download our free app for church and place of worship 
security and safety information. It's at churchsecurityapp.com. So until next time, thanks, take care, we'll talk to you soon.